all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and today we're going to be taking a first look and doing a comparison for the brand new all father reborn uniform for thor wasn't expecting a uniform for this guy anytime soon even though he's kind of fallen off significantly with the release of newer more powerful tier fours but he's still one of my favorite characters and i use him quite often as you can see i have a very very good build for my thor i got a six star artifact for this man like i said i love thor okay not really the biggest fan of this uniform to be honest with you the gloves being red i don't really like it i feel like it uh, it doesn't really flow with the uniform and i'm not really the biggest fan of the horns on the helmet uh yeah however i gotta say it's a good upgrade it might not be for everyone and you might not need to buy this uniform if you're not the biggest fan of thor so i'm gonna show you guys how it compares to the previous one the love and thunder which i still prefer the look of this one okay my guy looking dazed and I, I like it i like it i really like how it looks but the play style was a bit annoying for most people and i don't think the play style is gonna be um I would say any less annoying with this new uniform, but I would say he's kind of simpler, not necessarily better, but simpler to play because with the uh, Love and Thunder uniform, basically what you were doing is three insta cancel, five delay cancel when he lands, and then you would proc on the four, and then you would follow up if you wanted to with the two skill Mjolnir Rush to either evade any incoming attack or get some additional damage and then also build up his uh, tier three, tier three still where the majority of his damage lies. However, in this new uniform, basically what you're doing now is five delay cancel until he throws Mjolnir, and then you're just gonna proc on your forward skill. You can no longer instantly cancel thunderbolt charge or whatever it was called before you can't cancel the third skill anymore basically okay so what you do is after you finish up with the four which actually finishes a lot quicker than previous skill you want to follow up with the third skill because this is now his v-pad skill so two skill no longer a v-pad third skill now the v-pad you finish up with this and then you just go back into your regular rotation now if you didn't have a uniform for thor previously then obviously go ahead and get this one unless you're not a fan of the aesthetic but in terms of power i definitely say it's a good upgrade let's get it All right first up stage 79 against null you could use thor's leadership but i'm just going to use ronin to make it simpler especially if some of you guys i don't know maybe don't have the artifact or whatever okay so 18 seconds to fly through the first phase keep in mind they did make um no the weaker in the update previously We're just flying through this. Keep in mind, it's just a speed comparison to see which one clears faster. Boom, boom. Now I know I told you guys you can do three cancel, five delay cancel, and then four, but I do it the other way around. It's just a matter of how I feel, to be honest. I can either start off with the third skill. Oop, okay. Or I can start off with the fifth skill. Either one works. It's a minute to clear, as you can see. So it's very, very fast. All right, let's see how we do with this All Father Reborn uniform. So you're going to notice that the uh, fourth skill ends a lot sooner in this uh, new uniform. It's a lot more burst. Don't even need the tier three here. That's 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 kind of uh, impressive, if I do say so myself. Go ahead and just uh, skip that whole phase there. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pop off with that. I think they give us more control on the third skill, as opposed to with the. With the um, I was gonna say. With the previous V pad, we didn't have as much control. I think I could have been faster here. I'm just gonna pot the tier three right away and just kill this guy. Yeah, so 
Gap doesn't look that big, but it was already a really fast clear time with the, <laughs> with the other uniform. And I think I could have gotten a little bit faster with this one. I'm looking at this and you have to keep in mind, I have a lot of practice using the Love and Thunder uniform, whereas this one, I only had it for a day. So I'm sure my rotation is going to get a little bit better, a little bit tighter. Next up, we got Mephisto, stage 74. Let's see how my boy rocks. Gotta watch out for the blade twisters in between skills. And uh, one of them actually caught me. It's one of the things I don't necessarily like about Thor. That and getting trapped in his fifth skill. All right, lost a little bit of damage there because he cuts in, but it's fine. Skills on cooldown. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop off here and push into the next phase. That's good. Gotta watch out for the blade twister when you're using the fourth skill because it's not a full iframe, so you can get caught and then bodied but this is over so one minute here on stage 74 all right let me see how this goes boys one and two are literally just throwaway skills throw them throw them out whenever you feel like just uh build up your tier three One shot. Nice. One tap straight in the bin, boy. Yeah, you get a little bit oh more control on the uh hold on. On the new V pad still, but uh ooh. Saucy. So it doesn't look like there's that big of a gap, but I think as we go up against more difficult content, it will be evident. So we're progressively moving up to more difficult bosses. And let's see if the gap in between the uniform changes. Come on. Yeah, the, literally the most annoying thing I would say about the, this uniform for Thor is getting caught by blade twisters in between your because there's little gaps in between his iframes. <laughs> it's uh, irritating sometimes, especially if you get caught by a blade twister and then one of the uh, purple attacks hit you and just instantly kill you. Sad times. Sad times. Okay, I can't even tell you how many times that shit's happened to me. I'm like. I think we could have been faster if we oh got caught by a blade twister yeah yeah and we're done <laughs> so one minute and one second now i'm sure some of you guys are gonna say hey why are you only fighting null mephisto ultron gore and not the more difficult bosses the reason for that is very simple most players i would say nine out of ten players go out of their way to avoid fighting Kang, Jean Grey, Black Swan. Hold on. Ooh, really? Okay, let me go ahead and keep putting some pressure on this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the hit like a champ and see if we can just push through. Push through. Ah, I wanted to end him right there. But yeah, most players go out of their way to avoid fighting the more difficult world bosses just because time. And also difficulty, they're like, nah, why am I going to fight a difficult boss just for five or ten more materials? They're like, nah, forget that. Oh, I got caught here. But, yeah. But uh, next video, we'll do it. Just wanted to show you guys how he does on the bosses that most of you guys are going to fight anyways. But you can see the gap. If you're only fighting these bosses, I don't think you need the new uniform. But I think the gap is going to get bigger as the boss becomes more difficult. Because one thing you're seeing here is that... Thor doesn't need the tier three to do as much damage as the other uniform does. 
the love and thunder uniform you notice there's a big spike when you use a tier three and there's still a big spike in this new all father uniform when you use a tier three but you can see that he's pushing this content a lot faster in the new uniform without a tier three let's see how we do against gore this guy wants to fight me in the corner i don't want to really fight him over there can we one shot him nice cake 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 so i'm looking at this and although the other uniform is definitely better you can kind of see where you don't necessarily need it so like you could skip it if you are low on crystal not the biggest thor fan can already do everything in the game with your thor like all of these things are things you should consider you know, Scarlet Witch uniform coming soon. I know I didn't make a video about the leak, but it's it's a possibility, right? So it's something you need to consider. Let's go. Right, let's keep him in the middle. And then we're done. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> literally a one shot so i'm looking at this four bosses for these four bosses specifically you can stay with love and thunder if you already have it and you're short on crystals i'll, I'll do more testing obviously i can see other bosses and also in chat boss right kind of annoying that they lowered dormammu's hp by i think 30 percent, 20 or 30 percent. i think it's about 25 percent around that but yeah, you can see clearly this uniform is superior. I wouldn't say it fixes the annoying survivability issue that he had where you get caught up in between iframes, right? Uh, by blade twisters and shit. So that's kind of annoying. But I would say he's a little bit easier to play, whereas you can now do the same amount of damage with two skills as opposed to before you needed three skills granted this skill was insta cancel before so you didn't really need that much time to really put it in your rotation so now he's a little bit simpler you just delay cancel the five and proc on the four that makes him i would say new player friendly if you have a cdp of rage or judgment because i don't think he's proc friendly at all at all because you still need to delay the fifth skill if you don't delay until he throws the hammer out and by then any CTP of energy, destruction, obelisk, any of that stuff is going to trigger before you can get into your force kill. And you're going to lose a bunch of damage because the force kill is where a lot of the damage is. Okay, so that's my two cents on Thor in this new uniform. Not really the biggest fan of the look, but the power behind it, I would say it's pretty good. However, against these bosses specifically, if you already have Love and Thunder, I think you can stay with it. Next video, we'll check out how he does against Kang, uh, Black Swan, and Jean Grey. So look out for that. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.